Hey, what's up, Exploration Nation? Today we're at a closed Kmart, and it started out as a Kmart and was later converted to a big K. And you can see the sign scarring right there where the K was after it was converted. And it's my understanding that this particular one has been purchased and is going to be demolished and a super target put in its place. So there's not a way to see inside, and I wish there was, um, but um, Kmart um, typically boards up their closed locations, and this one is no exception. Everything is boarded up, no way to see inside. So uh, let's take a look at the outside, see what we can see before the building goes away check out the architecture here and uh, let's go around and see what else we can find the gas station is over there Kmart Express we'll go check that out and just few minutes there's some doors right there all locked up tight. And nothing back on this side. So let's head back this way. motion detecting units for the automatic doors. And I'll board it up. Pretty good little wasp nest that was there. Coming around to where the garden center was. Kmart sign and the angle of the sun on it you can see through the painted over part of it Kmart logo that could be used here that they accepted. Well, the windows are covered over so we can't see inside.
delivery area. And I never knew it, but that looks like a generator. Let's go take a look. Yes, that's what that is. That is a genset generator. So if the power went out, the store wouldn't have to rely on just emergency battery-operated lighting. They would at least have partial power to the building. Factors. I wish I could get in to see it, but as with everything else, if there's a way in, it would just be totally trashed. And the police do kind of keep an eye on this as it is. I was out here once before and didn't uh, video it. There's an officer sitting back here. And I'm not afraid to be checked. That's all right. Um, but um, no use wasting their time. And another explorer came here last fall and did get checked. So they do seem to keep an eye on the place. Now this is a puzzle. On the surface it kind of looks like automotive service, but I used to shop here sometimes when this was open and that's not what this was. The auto uh, service center was over on the side that we just passed a few minutes ago, but these three areas were open right here. And this is curbed off. So apparently access was not intended from the parking lot, and it's card railed. So anybody that's familiar with this setup at Kmart, please comment below and tell me what this is. Uh, I can't even venture a guess as to what it is. If it was where dumpsters were, I would think that the guardrail would not be there so that the trucks could come in and pick it up. So I don't know what that was. And here's a walkway going around to the back. Let's see what we got here. Looks like another door or two. Yep, and that's it. And that's uh, all we got. Vents may be part of the ventilation system. Again, if you know what that was originally before it was closed up, comment below and let me know.
Yeah, it doesn't give a date on this. I don't know how long this Kmart's been closed. It's been closed for a while. And of course, Kmart is in bankruptcy. It was acquired by Sears, and Sears recently was reported to be putting in a request for a total liquidation of the Sears stores and all its assets, which would be the remaining Kmart's. I don't know how that uh, went. The request was going to the bankruptcy judge, so I don't know if that request was approved or denied. Kind of an old style fire hookup. that they did that with uh, city sewer covers. That's cool. Okay, let's head over to the gas station and see gas pumps and everything look like still there so let's go check it out these gas stations are were Kmart Express stations this was not originally here when Kmart was built this was added later so let's go up here and see what we can find The front's been, front panels on these have been taken off for some strange reason. Don't know why. Here's one with the cards sticker still on it. Here's one that's in pretty decent condition. Energy drinks. See what we got in here. Three, there's the counters. One counter where the drinks were. Safe is still in here. Printer to the computer. Better view 
back there. has a, an old logo that goes back a few years now. This was a reissue of it, but that original IC Cup logo was from the 1960s. Again, this all wasn't here in the 1960s. IC came back out with that logo later. But it's still cool to see it. or didn't in the first place and just paint it over it and use the uh, pork, chicken, and whatever scraps mixture. Here has a couple of dates on it, 1994-1998. Okay, that's going to do it for the Kmart. And unfortunately, that's pretty much going to do it for Kmart as a whole. Uh, because whether they liquidate or not, uh, they're disappearing one by one. And I've seen where what they're doing is as the uh, store's building leases are expiring, then they're closing the store. And that's why there are some left. The last two in Georgia closed earlier this month, so there's none left in Georgia. And I don't know how many are left across the country. So, as always, thank you for watching. And please like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you next time.